question. Ty, where do you see yourself in five years? Good. Hello. That, um... Okay, we'll, we can come back to that one later. Let me just say, let me use this as an opportunity, actually. Um, if you're a follower of Wolves Fancast, get following Ty, because he's a good lad. And especially, you know what I mean? It's a good lad, just follow him. He's sound, yeah. he's funny as well. If you're a follower of Ty, then follow Wolves Fancast, because Wim sound as well. Sound, it like it's not going to kill you, is it, to follow someone? And if there's somebody having a conversation with someone, you just have a watch in it. It's not going to work. So um, give us all a follow. Get your questions back in as well, because there's some yeah, good questions. Lost some good what questions. Was what I was going to ask is, um, are you going to save these videos? Do you save these videos or not? Yeah, so um, I've just saved that one to IGTV. Oh, I'll save one to IGTV and we'll bang them on our YouTube as well. Oh, save them, yeah, save them. So, so, I, need to start doing st I need to start doing stuff like this anyway, but... I'll send them all over to you. Um, <laughs> so, right, we've spoken about Ty the boy, Ty the man, Ty the construction worker, Ty the model. <laughs> what about Ty... The gym owner, what's going on there? Okay, so um, where do I see even start, man? What do you want to know? Where we come about? Do you want to know how did it come about? Okay, see, so so it was so obviously I'm working. So we went into lockdown when like not 2020 early, early. So was it March? Yeah, it was March. So I'm still working. I'm still doing modelling. I was in in February. I was in LA and Vegas shooting for like this brand. Absolutely lovely. Next thing you know, we're in lockdown. Obviously, I can't, I can't do my job. I have to be around people to do my job, so I can't do it. And I'm there thinking. But I, well, before that, actually, let's. I've skipped a bit there. So before that, so February, I come back home, come back home, and I train, train with uh, my mate Bex, the one who has a chip shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hadn't seen him for a while, and he was like, "Todd, you want to go to the gym?" So I've always been a member at Paragon Gym. So I used to be actually when it first got owned, because there's been three owners. I was actually trained up on the system to be a receptionist, but yeah. then I got into construction, so I had to leave that behind. But um, yes, I've always been a member there. So we went to train at Paragon, and then we were training. And Bex loves the way I train, so it's like Ty Matt, because obviously I was a chippy, eat a lot of kebabs, like so. I was like, do you know, what? come with me, I'll, I'll push her. And he said, I'm training, and he's like, Ty Matt, you're really good at training people. Ever thought about being a PT? And I thought. Do you know what? Being a PT is a big responsibility, and I just don't. I just I admire people who can do it, but I think you've got to do it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've got to have the other person's best interest before of you. Of course, start. of course. Oh, so I think that's a big responsibility. So I was like, nah, forget that. And then he was like, what about buying a gym, mate? What, what, what if we bought a gym, right? I was like, Beck, I don't know about that. He goes, come on, we'll, we'll see what, what money we've got on that. We'll have a sit down, have a look, and then we obviously priced it up and realised how bloody expensive it was. Mm. Like, bloody hell, I don't know if we can do that. And then, um, and then literally somebody tapped me in the gym and was like, oh, so I'm so selling the gym, the, the current owner. And I, I, know, I know the current, well, the, the old owner. So I was like, would you just listen to our conversation then? And he was like, no, no, boy. I was like, never mind. And then obviously I rang, I rang the, um, the, cup, the last owner. And I was just talking to him. And, I, and I, to be fair, he's, he's sorted me a good, good deal. Like, so he, he was, he's coming to the end of his time. He's like 50 and that, but he was like, had a lot of offers, and he was like, Ty, I really like his person. I think this is what the gym needs. And I'm like thinking there, going, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. Like, I never even thought I'd own a gym. And then Beck's chippy started going, like, through the roof. So he was like, Ty, I'm gonna have to, you're going to have to do it on your own. And I was like, God, I don't know if I can do it. And then he was like, Ty, just do it. If you need any help, I'll be here for you. I was like, sweet, I'll do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then that's, that's, that's how that came about. Literally within, like, two months of each of like, I, I, I went from, like, three months ago, do modelling, then two months later, I'm in talks of buying a gym, and then I was just like, literally, like, what, what, what's happening here? Like, so I'm, my life's gone from Instagram to like real life, like real quick, and that's how I got in. That's how I got, that's how I actually got into buying the gym. Uh, before we crack on, shout out to Bex Chippy. I will see you on the socials. Listen, right. then battered chips. If you're right from Wolves right. or the West right. Midlands, get to know about Bex battered, battered chips and them kebab right. boxes. <laughs> Sick, man. Um, so is the gym. Like, is that your sort of focus now? Um, yeah. So, I've got two. So, obviously, I've got Supure as well. So, Supure is this. This is my little uh, supplement brand. So, I've actually got a T-shirt on. Got flasking done. So, that, that's that's another passion for me. Because that 
coming with modeling as well. So me traveling around modeling was like, I want to be energized, but healthy when I'm drinking. So I was really on coffees, fizzy drinks and stuff like that, caffeine. Mm -hmm. And obviously you need your skin to look good and stuff like that. So I was like, I need a healthy supplement. So this is why this was created on the go and it's healthy. So that was that. And that was actually like literally in talks while I was on about going to the gym. So it literally just happened together. So I've actually got two focuses now. So it's just like the gym for now, because obviously they've been taken away from us. So everybody's going to get back into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a big focus for me at the minute. So I've worked really hard, to be fair, in the lockdowns. I've done a big renovation. I've put all the systems in place. Like I've literally like covered every angle of that business where it was really, really weak. So with that comes a lot of... Obviously, I'm not earning any money. So it's like I was stressing... I've been close to tears. No one knows this. I'm very strong. Like, I'm very positive, very strong. No one can tell me anything because if I've got something in my head, I've got to do it my way. And if I mess up, I'll go, I should have listened, but at least I know that I tried it my way and yeah, 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 yeah. it's my fault. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that's my passion. That's my passion at the minute, the gym. Um, and once that's settled, then like, obviously we're open Monday, which I'm buzzing about. So I'll, I'll, I'll know then. I'll, I'll know if the gym's ready to like hold its own. So when did you take over the gym? Was it sort of when you'd come? So you was in, where was you? Las Vegas? Yeah, I was in like Vegas, like in February, then, late February. And then you sort of came back, took on the gym, and yeah. the, not, not well, down just for you, basically. Well, like, to be fair, like, I come back, come back, went to the gym, spoke about it with Bex, like on about like obviously buying it and stuff like that. Went through the talks of it, nothing, in, nothing, nothing actually started. But then obviously lockdown happened in March. And I think that's what made the previous owner even more like eager to sell it really because it was a bit of a touch and go for gyms and I was thinking, you know what? This could go either way. If I buy this and it and it's obviously it's gonna like last day. Don't forget we thought it was gonna be like four weeks, six weeks. <laughs> so obviously he was still holding on to the gym for then. And then it come about a bit I think I actually bought it in the August, so bare. Lo loads of time in between. But I was just still like coming and hiring, didn't know what to do. I thought, imagine if I buy a gym and in, we can't open it. Like, what am I? What am I gonna do? Like, but I just thought, Ty, this is your chance. Like, I've like I've got an uncle who owns a gym in like um, Wensbury Elite Gym, and um, I've always been around it. So my uncles are bodybuilding and strength lift and power lifted. So I've always been about it, but never realised like I would ever do it myself. Like, and I was like, you know what? If somebody else buys that and just like, I've got a soft spot for that gym as well. So it was like, this is my chance, man. Couldn't yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, just take the risk and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Like, <laughs> I'm just going to ask one question that's come through. Um, will Sapure stay online or are you looking to take it to high street retailers? Um, well, to be fair, online is good for now because obviously it can be reached anywhere and distributed anywhere. But I'm all about like, so that this this brand is literally going to represent me. Look, I know it's just a tube and you can that represent you. The symbol's a plus sign, so that means positive. It's a positive yeah. sign, so I'm a very positive person. Like, like, so that's what it's all about. So people just see a brand, and I'm like, nah. This, along with the gym and everything, I'm literally just going to help everybody, any person that wants my help, physical, mental, diet. If I, and even if I don't know, I'm going to get a member of the team who knows exactly what you want, and that's what it's about. So with this, it's just online. Eventually, we want our own, like obviously our own office. And I literally mm -hmm. just want it just to be like, I just, I just, I can just see it, man. I think, I think it'll do well, man, because I know I really care about it. So I, I reckon that'll be, mark my words. I said this when I made this, when we made this, yeah. I said, mark my words, yeah. That will be on the wall, kit. I'm telling you now. Yeah. That will be on the wall, kit. I'm telling you. I said that. And anybody who knows me, when I first started this, I've said, this will be in the prem. I'm telling you. That's how I'm seeing it. And I've always said I wanted to do it on a wall show. Fair play. Fair play. So, so, that's how I'm seeing it. Might not happen. But this might all be a lot of it. But that's how I'm seeing it. What's the harm in, in having a dream? Yeah, nothing. There's no harm in having a dream. And, and set the bar high and try yeah. your best to get there. And you know what? You know, if you don't get there and it's not on the wolf kit and it's on the wolf kit instead. It's not what, bro. No. Look what you've done. Not yeah. many people can say that. And how many people can even say that they've made their own supplement brand anyway? Never mind getting on a football kit. Yeah. So already, already you've reached levels that people can only dream of reaching. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? So yeah. it's positive. It's positive already. From day yeah. one, it's positive. So whatever else you can achieve, yeah, it's a bit of a bonus, ain't it? But that's what I'm saying. It's all about the positive, man. See, look, the positive side, man. That's what, that's what I'm all about, man. So people know me. Like I'm not. I'm a very strong personality, man. So it's like I can make you laugh. I can make you cry. I can really annoy you. But I'm telling you, everything I do is because of, it's because I care, like, and that's what everything yeah, yeah. comes down to: business, social life, hobbies, anything, relationships, anything. If you care, it's going to work. That's it. Simple as that. And people overcomplicate every single aspect of life, and I'm just like, totally agree. Totally agree. It's so mental. So Monday is a massive day for you, then, isn't it? It's mm. huge. Bad. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> dimples, oh Jesus! No, we're not even fucking oh model. God. Look at them dimples. Look at the <laughs> small face. So, come on, what? Talk us through your excitement for Monday. Um. So, I'm, to be fair, up until two days ago, I've been wobbling bad because I, I like if I can see a weakness or something that I'm not happy with, and I care about it, it really annoys me, man. And anybody who knows me, yeah. I am bloody useless with these hands. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. But I know if you tell me to lift something a thousand times, I'll do that all day. You tell yeah. me, drill this to the wolf and I can forget that get that drill away from me. I just can't use my hands like Jeremy is. But I'm useless when it comes to like physical work, which is obviously work from our area, what sort of work you do like. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. like a, a thinker man, but it's like how do you get paid for thinking? So it's like I feel your pain. Honest, dude, I am the. When it comes to DIY, I'm not I'm, a bloke. I'm not a bloke. So, I can't. So, I can't <laughs> like, the missus could turn around to me and say, "Oh, we need to put some shelves up," and I'm like, "No, nah, I'm, I'm like, no, what are you doing, bro? I need a shelf <laughs> put in. I can't do it, man. I can't. I just, I'm just, and I'm just wait, not for it. Let me put, let me let me tell you something now. I don't know till three months ago. That a drill could go the other way. Oh, come on. That's taking <laughs> the piece, man. That's taking the piece, I don't know. I was like, I've tightened this. I drilled it in. I was like, I need to get that out. It's in the wrong place. So I've got a screwdriver. I'm trying to undo it. Oh, oh no. There's a little button on there. <laughs> ah, that's bad. A drill, a drill goes the other way. So have you never, like, just held a drill and just twisted it and then... Like, I'll be honest. Like... My Mrs. Oh, Dad, it helps us a lot with the elves. Can, can we just time. rewind and come again a little bit? Can we just... <laughs> Go on then. We used to work in construction, right? What the no, fuck was so, you doing? So, so, there's, there's construction, but there's labourers. So I'm telling you now, now if we had lo so I used to be like a, like a brick labourer, Oddie, like. So, if you want compo, we want bricks. Toy is your man. Because they'll go, oh, we got no ladder, we got no this. We have to put it on this scaffold, like, mate. If you ain't got the crane and it's only like a bit, I used to like grab it, just shoulder press and just throw them. And they'll give that. too much work. I'm like, no, 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 leave me here. I will get them up there, like. Don't worry about the banksman picking them up. If we can't do it, I'll get them there, like. And then I'm like, forget that. <laughs> Put a drill in my hand. I'll try to get on the tools, man. I'm like, nah. And then look, like, why you get twice in much money? Go, don't care about drilling. I think with, with the eye light, though, you're either med for it or you ain't. Like so, these blokes, and you watch them, and they'll just not in lockdown. They, hey, just, my supervisor's look. in here now from from that job. Maga one eight seven. He's my supervisor. He's the one I have to ask to go to modeling. In right there. Yes, Where Mick. He? he just popped up. Big lad, hard work. Big up, Mick. Best labourer, thick as chips, but I'll get it done, though. <laughs> there, right there, he's the guy that I asked. I was like, "Can I have the time off?" He's like, "Yeah, man, sweet." Yeah, Where is he? Where is Maga? M Maga, you know what, right? Big Mick. This, Big he Mick. owes you a lot, you know, because I don't know if he was watching in the first half before we had our little commercial break. I brought but, you up, Mick. I brought you up. You brought you up because not many people out there would allow people to go away from their job to go and achieve their dream. So, Jesus. big up yourself, Maga. Big up yourself. Big Maga, big me. Right, tank. Tank. Fair play, so yeah. <laughs> As if we were talking about him earlier, he pops up in the chat. That's good. <laughs> and he's proud of you as well. You know what? That's, yeah, that's right. nice. I like that. I like that. But it's class, man. Proper class. <laughs> what are you talking about? So yeah, you're shooting with a drill. But 
hey, do you, like some blocks, I can just go and build a shed in the back garden or a summer house or a dog. I dog get it. And I've got a house to do up, like. I've got a house to do. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Well, Becky's dad helps it a lot, man, so sand. It's absolutely sand. I'll, I'll help him and stuff like that, but. I'd rather just pay somebody to do it. I know, but now when you've took on a lot of work, like, oh, I got the money. <laughs> like, I've got. You're going to have the mates. Houses are expensive. You, you're going to have the mates. Do, do yeah. us a favour, kid. The doll, man. The doll. The, the like, some, do, some of them do. They'll go, I can do it until, can you do it? And then they're like, yeah, man, I'm this much. I'm like, bro, I thought yeah. it was your mate. <laughs> but it's it's just one of them. Some people are built for it. Some people are like, we, yeah. we've got, you've either got brains or or you can DIY. You've got brains or you've got curls, man, because that's all I've got. I've got no brains. I've got no hands. I'm just good <laughs> at, like, relate. I'm good at people, man. That's my, that's my strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple as that. That's, that's my strength. So let's go back to the gym, right? It's opening Monday. You've waited a long time for this, so promote the fuck out of it. Yeah, so basically, anybody who knows, and I don't want to disrespect the place, so it needed a lot of TLC, and everybody that looked at that gym was like, mate, I wish somebody who would care would just take over that. And to be fair, the guys that have owned it before, cracking lads, one of them was just like, oh, I don't, I don't know what happened to him before, but he sold it on to the second owner. And then the second hour, like I say, he was coming into his older years and he, was, he just lost the passion for it. And then obviously with lockdown, that mustn't develop. So I was like, do you know what? I'll, I'll do it. But like, when I did, I was like, I took over and I was like, there's a lot to do here. So much to do. And I was proper stressing. And people know we've been around the business when I first took over. I like, Ty's losing it, man. Because I was like proper, I was trying to have conversations and, that, and I've like, had to flitter off and people are like, mate, he's, he's, he's took too much on here. But it's only because I know what I can see. And I can't do it, so I've got to go and find people who can do it for me. So this is where, like, that's that's what the first part of the, the, the job was like. And then once, so when we had that lockdown in November for thirty days, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what? I've got thirty days to rip everything out and get it exactly how I want it. And people are like, in crazy, like, just just wait. Like, nah, it's lockdown. What? Like, I want I want my members to come back and like have some proud to like be part of like. And that that's what I did. Exactly what I did. Ripped everything out. Well, what changes have you made? Have you completely, completely oh. ran up top to bottom line? So, the equipment's the same, but like, literally I've ripped all the floors up. I've sold 15 machines. It, somehow it looks like it's got more equipment in there. Mm. Tidied the place. I've absolutely, like, honestly, I'll show you, like, there's a before and after on my page, and you'll be like, mate, what? How have you done that? In, I did that in 30 days. Well, obviously it weren't me, but, <laughs> but you know what I mean? But, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then, obviously, when that happened, we opened, and I'm thinking, yeah, man, I've smashed it. And then Boris goes, oh, you're locked down in 30 days again. I went. Wise, man. I went, I've just spent every penny I got. And you've just said we've locked down. Like, I was like, and that's when I was, that was in January. And I was like, I could, I could, I could have. So what you got to, like, take me, for example. I don't go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. Mm. But I don't. So yeah. why should I come to your gym instead of driving five minutes down the road and going to pure gym? Well, one is I actually care about my members, so I'll know all your names. So when I've got the system in place, we've got like key cards, so I've got a number. That comes up on the system, your name, how often you've been in. If you ain't been coming in, my system will know, so I'll give you a text or I'll ring myself and I'll say, yo, you ain't been in for a few days, get down there, stuff like that. Yeah. But then also, when you come in, I'll like, talk to you, like, I'll know your name. All of our members will know your name. And it's just, I'm trying, trying to create. I say it's the best gym in the world, but that ain't what gym's about. It's about being the best. It's about progression, community, and just, just being a nice person. So that's what you'll get from being part of my gym. If you don't know what to do, ask any of my members. I've extended the staff to like five. I've got six PTs now. Mate, we hadn't had one. I had one member of staff when I started. Now I've got five and then six PTs, and they're all just itching to get going. Like, so we're more ready. Like physical, if you need exercise, like training, like training, you've got PTs fully qualified, nutrition, yeah, yeah. Like nutritionists on board. You've literally got everything, and that's what I want the gym to be like. I think that's, a, a, that's a, help a, a big thing with gyms, you know, because you can walk in some gyms and it just feels booky, like you're like, fuck, you know, it's going to kick off in here in a minute, or but you know what I mean? Like, or I can't lift as much as them guys, like everyone's yeah, looking yeah. at me, they're, they're, they're. And, and that's, I think that, I personally think that's a big thing for gyms. Mm -hmm. like, like, if you can go in there, whether you're, you're, you're five-star ring gym wet or 
your twenty stone overweight like as long as you feel comfortable it's gonna it's gonna encourage you to go back to that gym isn't it i'll gi I'll give an example where I felt good about what I did so basically so i I'll get nervous people think I'll get nervous and it's like I'm, obviously I'm in the gym there so I'm new on them look i don't like I feel like everybody's watching me so there's times where I'm like Bloody hell, I don't know what to do here because yeah. everybody's looking at me like I've got the answer to everything which is yeah. I yeah, but I'll give it a go but then I remember I was working so I was doing some shifts and like I remember this little kid coming in and I remember he messaged me on Instagram but he day told me he was coming in and I saw his face and I recognised the message like I recognised his face from the message and I could see that like, he, he didn't want to say hello and he's a bit shy and then it wasn't until I let him in and then he went and trained and I thought that's that kid off Instagram that is that it he messaged me and he messaged me like he looks up to me and stuff like that because it does happen and I know it sounds a bit cringe and stuff like that so do you know what when, when he comes back I want to speak to him I could tell he was just going to shoot off he'd come to the desk after he'd ask him like, oh what's the best protein to have and that and I'd give him all the advice I'd go this is the one I have he said have, have you got any more left and we'd run out I went tell you what I'll order it myself and I'll pay it for you myself I'll go yeah. and then there's like this other thing called like, a, like a, it's like a it's like a drink that you try it, like you take when you are trying it just helps you like blood flow and stuff like that and I said because he's like naturally skinny like myself I'll give him all the advice that I had when I was like I was like that and I could see his face lighting up and then I was like oh what's your name and that shook his hand and that and now every time he comes in he'll say alright Tyler and I'll go alright Tyler every time and you can see that he ain't that, he ain't that shy person anymore so that's one thing that's one thing I remember about, like, that's when I was like mate I love this class and that's amazing because you've got to think like he's walked through that door like shook mm. and never got that confidence you know yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll have to tie and yeah, I'll probably yeah. put on a bit of size I'm feeling fitter I'm feeling better in myself yeah. you know what I mean it's amazing it's amazing it is, it is man like, like, like I say I'm, you don't realise what <sighs> there's different people so different customers you give different treatment to you just do like you know you should treat everyone the same but you don't you, you, you adapt to every person differently mm -hmm. just, it's some, some mm -hmm. are uncomfortable some are comfortable so some I'll stand off for ages and I'll speak to them until because I know when somebody wants to talk to you, because you can see him looking, but then, but if somebody doesn't give you eye contact, you ain't got to go out your way, just say hello, say goodbye, that's just some manners, but if they're hovering about and stuff, just ask them a question, what they're training today and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, There's been a couple of occasions where the people I talk to the most now, is people that I've never, never seen before in my life, but they, every day, they'd say tie, and I just didn't quite, I didn't like to take it in, whereas now I'm like, I actually know quite a lot about, about all my members, like, and that, it is really good, man. Sick. Because, I think, like, now this is probably me getting a bit too deep, but, like, since coronavirus and lockdown and all that, like, in my opinion, the world has completely changed. Yeah, and, awesome. you know, if you can go somewhere and you can get that personal touch, I think that goes a hell of a lot further than it would have gone 12, 18 months ago. Yeah, and I, I think people are actually, like, reaching out and, and yeah. want that experience. Yeah. Well, to be fair, you've done it yourself. When you've looked back at the Instagram, you've done it yourself. You've gone, hey, can we put a personal touch on the page? Yeah, yeah, You've yeah, charged yeah. your platform and you thought, hey, we can, hey, can we put our personal touch on you? You've done it yourself. And now people are starting to do it. And it's great. That's how it should be. But before, this had all got swept under the carpet and everybody, because it was all about, life is like proper, like fast, fast, volume, volume, no time, no time, no time. Now we've got all the time in the world. So people are like, some people will fall out with people over this because somebody I sent a text like, how are you? Oh, of course. Of course. That would have never happened 18 months ago. Ever. Yeah, if somebody yeah, went, yeah. bro, you guys spoke to me now, man, did you think I'm too good for me or something? I'll go, hold on. What do you mean? I'll get you fine, like, but now you actually have got to check up on people because it's just, it's just different. Everything's yeah, different. I think, yeah, I think everyone's feeling a lot more sensitive. Everyone's just sort of, everyone's just fucking, yeah, that's the point of the minute you were being honest. They have and the ain't. They just don't know. They don't. So basically, they've relied so much on like internet and everybody doing something. Do your own thing. Don't worry about it. Like I've been. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. where I've actually changed. Like, everybody, all my mates have said to me, "Tell you change." And nothing's changed, but one thing. That's just my mindset. I've got the same things, but now I just feel like I'm just like ready for everything. Like it might not work, but that's a different matter. But it's just a little click in your mouth. Like, man, it's actually I've actually got loads going for me. Let's let's focus on that. Don't like wait to open. Like, think, what can I do until we open, or whatever you do, or when you go back to work? You ain't waiting to start your life. Like, your life is happening now. It's on pause. Like, just do something else. Do something for yourself, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you wouldn't have had this before, because you'll be at work. So, what do you mean? I'm waiting to start work. Go and do something that you like doing. 
the perfect time and it's the actual perfect time and people don't understand so I'm a bit fed up I'm like why do you find something you like doing simple oh, you know what I think you're spot on and I, I think this the last sort of 12 18 months this has been the perfect time for people to sort of reevaluate the lives and think you know what I want to go in a different direction That's there's right. no time better than now no. really if you want to go in a different direction in your life now is the time like, stop go and do it. Just go one and do it. Just one habit a run. day towards something that you like doing. Do it every day. It'll build and you'll be sweet, like sweet. I'm ask you a question from Andy Monty P. Where is the gym? Where is the gym? It's in. So it is by Bentley Bridge, uh, Wolverhampton. So it is not far from. It's Nichols Lane. If you if you're local, it's Nichols Lane, just off there, uh, Phoenix Road. And it's by, by the base junk, by Greg's and base junkies. We're in the bottom right corner, but yeah, it's, it's based in Wolves. So yeah, pop down and come say hello. So what are your membership prices? Get them out to the people. So I don't know. Okay, so we got a cash deal, which is so it's all no contract, cancel any time. Um, so we got the cash option, which is you just pay your cash, and that's twenty five pound, and that's just a monthly thing. So you come in, pay twenty five pound cash or card, um, and that's it. That's you done for thirty days. Um, then we've got the direct debit system, which is twenty two ninety nine, um, and that's obviously a recurring card payment. It's a direct debit, but it's not a bit like a Netflix. So there's no contract. It's just when you when you don't want to pay it, you ain't got to pay it. Yeah. So there's that one. Um, but we've actually got a deal on to, like now. So up until tomorrow, six pm, that deal is now nineteen ninety nine. So you go for twenty quid. Where do I sign the contracts? There we go. Um, you can, online www.paragon gym.com. You go on there, sign up, sign your stuff up, bam, done. And, um, and you offer PT sessions as well. How do they yes, work? Um, one more thing, we've got an NHS membership as well, and that's seventeen ninety nine. So if you're NHS or emergency services, police, firemen, anything like that, even care homes, people who've been exposed to COVID, heavily, any job you've been heavily, heavily exposed to COVID, Bring in your ID cards and we can sort something out, but that's that, that's going to be a lower rate. So I think that you should get something for that because you've absolutely been in the wars. So, but well, don't blag it and take the piece. <laughs> yeah, but don't blag it. So if somebody says, oh, "I do tarmac to get people to work." I'm like, bro. Yeah, yeah. I walk on top. I walk. I walk on top. Ta tarmac it do it. Like, <laughs> it's a thing. Day service. No, but fair play, fair play. I think a lot of people. There's been a lot of people that have been on the front line from day one with this COVID, and hats off to them. Yeah, that's all. Fair play. But like I say, it's up to all the business owners and everything now to all look after them. Obviously, it's our turn. Everyone starts walking, start putting stuff in place for them. Mate, just get it done. We've all been on the front door doing the clap for NHS so they can have a five rocket at your gym or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Just come on. If you're going to clap for the NHS, put your money where your mouth is and do it in your services. Like, so. Fair play. Uh, what about classes? Will there be any classes at the gym? So classes, no, I ain't got the space at the minute, but we have got an outside area, which is quite big, and I've got to convert all that. So I will get it done, but it's going to cost a lot of money. So obviously, once I've earned a bit of money, we'll get it done. But the yeah. aim is to have classes on, and well, we've got PTs. So what I'm doing now, because I've just had all new P uh, PTs announced and representing the gym now, um, I'm going to put a portfolio of all the PTs on the Paragon page. So we'll put, like, for example, we've got one called Sally page up, put a profile up, a bit about her, what her qualifications are and what she like what she, what she's about basically. Yeah, so yeah, we'll yeah. do all of that, we'll pull them all online. And then you can um um that I think they're gonna because for them to like, discuss their prices that's up to them. So I'll just I think you'll have to DM them personally because I don't just dis that's not me doing the prices for the PTs. That's up to them. So it's their their own business. So but we'll put all the information up. If you're interested in one, we'll send, you can send them a, a message across and you can get your booked in. But, mate, you've got loads. You've got loads of space for more members. So get down right. and choose your PT wisely, man, because they, they hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be booking them PTs, mate. I'll be good at my old pace. No fancy throwing up. <laughs> Nick Lewis, 93, makes a good point. He's, he's, he's one of my boys. He's Nick Lewis, Lewis, manager at Darlow. Yeah, no, though. He's at Lanehead, but yeah. Have, have you got the Lanehead with Nick? Well, yeah, I'm sorry, but like I said, I'm really busy, man. So it's like because like, I ain't gonna lie, Ty. I'll put I'll put on my story. If you got any questions for Ty, yeah, let me know. Yeah. And add Mike. Now I know yeah. Mike. He's oh yeah, Mike. And he said, tell him to get to training. 
Otherwise, he's dropped. That's what I'm saying, man. It's like, I've, honestly, like, people will know, man, I don't fob things off, man. But at the same time, I am busy, like, I am a busy yeah, guy. Yeah. So it's, like, it's one of, I know it sounds bad, like, you should, but it's just, I have got, a, like, a different life to most people. So I know that sounds bad. But, like, business first. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm trying to make something, so. Yeah, of course. Do you know what I'm of saying? Course. I've done my footballing time, I prioritise that, so. But, but I, I was going to mention this point about being in gyms. It's about not having an ego battle. Everyone should help each other in there, which is bang on because yeah. you go to some gyms and there's some proper egos in there. And I don't care if you wham as fuck, but leave your ego outside the door. Like everyone's in the gym because everyone's trying to reach a goal. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? So just support each but, other and back each other. And I don't want to say I'm, what they do now, but if people took that mindset into everyday life, the every, world would be a better place. The, really like, do you, do it like, it's literally everybody can win, like. But the thing is, so I've got a saying, so with Paragon, obviously, I've got like, so obviously I've got the positive siren for Sapure, so positivity. With the gym, obviously it's called Paragon, so I've got like a slogan for the gym, it's going to be like progression, not perfection. And then people are like, depends on how you take that. So people go, well, I want to be the best, like, and I go, well, I ain't not dull, try your hardest. What I'm saying is, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you try your hardest, and you still ain't the best, it's not a problem, because guess what? You was, what, you was better than what you was. So give yourself a tap on the back and you're sweet, like. That's what I'm trying to say. So, obviously, the, that, that goes progression of the perfection and then Paragon is like the three Ps. So, positive, you know what I'm saying? That's everything's like all linking in. So, that's literally me as a, in a nutshell. Like. Simple. Fair play. Fair play. There's another one. Right. This one, you'll like this one. Sparrow, Henning, again. Big up yourself, Sparrow. Yeah, Sparrow, oh, Henning, man. I draw a lot of inspiration off yourself. I'm not sure if he's talking about me or you here, but I'll just take a point and say he's talking about you. Uh, like-minded people like KB and Alex, I would say I look up to your journeys for inspiration. A lot of time and respect for you. There we go. That's what it's all about. Like, so I, I don't actually know him. Like He speaks to me through social media. He knows one of my friends. And I'm like, you know what? He shows me support at any given. Like, And I'm like, mate, I'm going for like a stressful time because I'm 100 miles an hour while in lockdown and that. Yeah. And then people, like when I'm like proper like thinking, Jesus Christ, this is hard, man. Somebody will send me a nice message, and I'm just like, bam, that's what I'm doing it for. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm just just trying to do my best, like. And do you know what the thing is, right? It costs fuck all to be nice to somebody, you know, man. Really like, costs nothing. You don't, man. Right. But like, I'm from a world where it's like it's weird, and it to like want the best for someone. No, like, not not really. But it's like, I don't know, man. It's like you don't always being genuine sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I know. People have got out to be genuine, like, it's yeah. like I don't know, it's, it's all got a bit weird, isn't it? It's like it's a like on Instagram means more than a, like, I don't know, just it's all a bit weird, man. It's, 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 it's fucked up, if I'm being honest, and, but I, I just think it costs nothing to be nice, like, so, like, let's say, for example, um, the first interview I did was with Liam from Inside the Baller. and he, mm -hmm. he's like, I'm, I really appreciate the love that you're sending me rare, rare, and I'm like, but Liam, you're just a local guy that's trying to do something. Like, it costs yeah. me nothing to say to you, like, yeah. oh, I like what you're putting out, or, yeah. you know, you're really, really well, keep going, keep going. It costs me yeah. nothing. So why can't more people be like that? I don't know. Not everyone's the same, but I just think it takes more effort to be hateful towards somebody than to big somebody up. Like, and there's but people out there that are doing well, so I'll just big them up, man. Just credit where, where credit's due. It's credit true. where. But, but then there's the other thing. So, obviously, there's that. But then some people just don't know how to do it. Like, so, for example, <laughs> like, I'd never. Do it. I'd never do something talking about myself like are we doing now. But at the yeah, same yeah. time, not being big headed, I think I can help a lot of people though. Of I really think I can. But well, I ain't gonna just put it out there because some people because of the position I'm in, people go full of themselves like or oh, whatever. That's why I said in my video earlier and I was like, if you wanna come have a chat saying if not then don't really bother me, just like whatever. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I know what people are like, like and I'm just like, you tell you that deep, it's like but I'm telling you now, if you listen to me, yeah, like I've got some good points and it's just like I think a lot of people are, so why not listen to him? But people are just like all too busy now. Like it's fine, but when there's somebody's actually trying to help you, sometimes you just don't even know them trying to help you. Do you know what I mean? It's just like you just don't know. Like it's just all a bit, it's all confusing. Man. You look. Somebody in the comments has already said that they look up to you. You're an inspiration. So I think people would want to listen to you, and that's not you yeah. sort of being artistical. That's why I asked you to come on because I thought yeah. people would want to hear your story. You've got an interesting yeah. story to tell. You know, and, and if, if, and it, like we said earlier, if one person watches or a hundred people watch, it doesn't really matter. If one person takes inspiration from listening to you speak tonight, or a million people do, 
it doesn't really matter because if you can help one person, then in a way, a game without sound like oh, a hit. Where is days look dull? You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's all like we're all on a journey, isn't it, man. Like obviously, you can get a bit deep and stuff like that, but it is literally simple. So the off it, off it. Like, obviously, carry on what you're doing, which you will be doing, but I think it's class. And I definitely need to start doing more stuff like this anyway. But it's just doing it in a way where people don't go, oh, bloody hell. Do you know what I mean? Like, talk about yourself. I'm just like... Right. You know what the thing is? I'll be honest with you. I started doing these Insta Lives just out of boredom through lockdown, right? Yeah. And people will try and rip me all the time. And I'm just like, well, what the fuck are you watching for? Like, <laughs> if, it's, if you think it's shit, why are you watching? <laughs> like, just move me along. I'm not bothering you. So if yeah. it's shit... Don't watch, but you I know what you think, because it, it, it can look a bit cringy. Uh, yeah, but yeah. people are gonna hate regardless. So yeah. do you know if you want to do it, just fucking do it. Just do it, man. Like I said, that's what, what that's do. that's like that's why I'm just trying to be like a bit like obviously with everything I'm doing, I'm just like I just really wanna one help people, but it's just like one for myself as well. But it's just like I really think if you've got a good mindset, you can literally like. I'm just good to be around and I've got a friend that I love being around his name's Alex Cannon man and he's probably the one who's believed in me the most like you know when I was like doubting myself when I'm doing modelling all this he's like bro you are literally waiting to like be something special like, and I was like bro what are you on about man like I'm, I'm, I'm happy with ASOS he's like mate you're bigger than ASOS and you don't even see it because that's what I like about you and I'm like I don't get what you mean like but hearing that from somebody who's like got no agenda he's got his own life in Liverpool he's got his kids doing yeah. it he's got no reason to say that to me and even when we was Together shooting and stuff like that. Still, still they sink in. But now stuff started to happen when I thought my life was going backwards because I thought, shit, I'm going to lose modelling or this. Now I'm like, I can't think about going back to modelling. Like, I'll do it a bit. But I'm so much happier doing this. And I'm like, that's what that, that's what he meant. And I'm like, do you know what? Every time I'm having a little blip, I think about him. And I'm just like, nah, man. Just keep going, like. And You know, you need people around you. Like you, that, need, that. you need that friend, though. You need them. You do. You do. People that are going to support you. And big you up when you need bigging up because everyone needs bigging up every now and then. Because no matter what you're doing, you you've always got that little element of self doubt having you in the back of your mind. And yeah. if you've got that one person, that knows that. Knows that. honestly, you, it can it, it can go so far. It yeah. can go if, you, if you've got that doubt and like it's gonna happen. Like anything that you anything that's work like special, like anything that you think, oh, I'm on summit here. There's a lot of there's a ninety percent chance. Like everyone you speak to is going, oh, that might not work. Well, so what if it don't look? Oh, guess what? Look, now if, like, this don't work for me, you know, for example, say, oh, no, I'll lose the house, I'll lose the gym, I'll lose so-and-so. Unless I literally stand in one spot and literally do that and do nothing about it, I'll be fine because I'll go to work and I'll do whatever, like, like a normal person would do. It's fine. Like, it's absolutely fine. Let yeah. you literally stand there like, and not do anything. You'll be fine, look. So, don't, look, that AO success is measured, like, at all. Tell about what you got at all. Um, Andy Monty P, how do we get the details for this gym? So, give all your socials out, give the website out the lot. Um, so, so, we can follow us on Instagram, at Paragon underscore gym. Um, website is www.paragon dash, not underscore, dash, um, gym.com. And you can sign up on there. You can do the pay as you go option on there. Uh, that's £25 of one-off payments, or you've got the subscribe uh, membership, which is nineteen ninety nine at the minute. So that's only until 6pm tomorrow. So if you want it cheaper, then there you go. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to go big on the socials. It's all going to be all about help and positivity. And obviously, yeah, like, all the live, P all the PT sessions that I'm happening in the gym, I'll be recording so people can see what they'll be getting for the morning and stuff like that. So it's going to be good, man. I can't wait. Honestly, it's sick. It's really sick. I'm a bit of Sparrow Henning again. Very active, fair play, mate. Fair play for listening all this time to me. Yeah, no, man. <laughs> no, it's full of right shifting. Uh, any advice to people thinking of going out there? Oh, sorry, on going out on their own in their own business. So if someone, if somebody's thinking, you know what, I've got this idea, blah 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 blah. What advice have you got for them? So, um, I'm going to be straight. So, obviously. People give up. Oh, you want money? You want this? Yes, you do it for money, obviously, because you want to work for yourself. It's like it's like working for a bank. It's like you get money. Like that's what you get in exchange for your time and your hard work. So yeah, obviously you want money from it. Obviously you want to put your time and hard work into it. So that is one. So obviously, going it for money because obviously you think that you've got something to offer the world or the industry, 
and you think that it's worth paying your attention to. So yeah, that's the good. That's a good start. So I'll do that. Next thing is to proper think about it and think why you're different to everybody else. If you're not different to somebody else, don't do it yet. Think a bit more because you've still got your job. So I'll think a bit more how you can be a bit different. And then even if you're not totally different, as long as you care about what you're like offering. So for example, say if you're like, you're, I don't know, you're, you're like me with the gym, for example, there's loads of gyms, loads of gyms, but I know I'll care, like I'll put proper care and thought into like the members. So that is my thing. So if I know that I can do that every day, which I can, because I know I can, it's no extra effort, that, that'll work. So hold your courses before you have your idea. Think about how you can be different, different and how you can actually connect to your business. And if you connect to it and it feels like no effort, because you'll think about it and it feels like no effort, you're on to summer, good for it. Absolutely good for it. Third thing, once you go for it and you don't receive stuff in return, don't worry about it. No business should really, because you're not a miracle worker. You're not a genius. So you will get money eventually, but it's going to take time. So you might be caring, putting all your time into it, and you get, I oh, you got my money back yet. And that's the first thing all your friends will say. And what you made back, and you'll go, oh, I'm still in, I'm still out. And they'll go, I'm in profit, yeah. I'm like, no, because it's my first time. Look, it's my first year. Look, how, how would I? A lot of businesses don't even make profit yeah. for the first so, 12, 18 months. And that's all your close ones. But as long as you care and you can keep it up, then you got, it's going to turn around in your favour eventually because it doesn't feel like work to you. So it's and also, also, what money you've made is of no interest to anybody else. Anybody else? That's anybody your else. personal business. Nobody needs it. Needs it's paying not even your personal business. Don't money. Money. And if they're asking about it, People shouldn't even be asking about your money anyway, really. They should be asking, how many customers have you had this month? Yeah, exactly. How, 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 how much has your social, how much has Paragon Gym grown on Instagram this month? Yeah. That's, that's what it is. Asking, not that's what how many money you made. Yeah, so that's right, actually. Just, just try and listen to the, to the words that people are sort of saying to you. Because if that's the questions they're coming with, then they're coming with bad intentions. But but the thing is with that, I'll, I'll, I think you've got to be careful with that one because some people might not be, no insult, might not see stuff the way that you see it. So they might not just be educated as Absolutely. much as, as that. Absolutely. Like So so what you've got to say then, that's your chance then to like say, oh yeah, I know what you mean, but like this is how I'm going to do this, this and this. And then obviously if they go, well, I can't see how that works, that's your chance to go, because you care, you'll go, oh, that's this, this and this because I've thought about all this, oh, this, this and this. And then if they keep going on about it, it's just like, Mate, like nobody ever made money like not trying something like it's like. Mm -hmm. just, do you know what I mean? Like if it was that if it was that effortless, then we'd all be walking around with bloody money hanging out of our pocket, wouldn't we? Of course. And we wouldn't all have a job working for other businesses because that's the ones who did the thinking for us. Where now it's got to be you just the thinking. So. Right, Hi. I want to wrap it up there. Yeah, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. Now I think this is. I've really enjoyed this one. To be fair, I've enjoyed <laughs> them all. This has been a really good one. Good man. Um, Good man. So thank you to everybody that's watched. Thank you to everyone that's commented. Thank you to everyone that's been positive in the comments as well. Um, really appreciate it. I can't see all the thank yous, by the way. Sorry. It really, it really helps. Um, from our point of view at Wolves Fancast, we're going to be back. We've got another one next week with the guy who's created Wolverhampton Eats, which is an app like Uber Eats and Just Eats. Man. So we'll be seeing how he's gone. Good, Catch, uh, check us out for all our Insta lives as well before the Wolves matches, after the Wolves matches. We do podcasts, mental health podcasts, racism podcasts, football podcasts. Just keep your eyes out for us. Obviously, yeah, keep man. your eyes out for Ty as well. That's the that's the main point of this interview today. Okay, and the, okay. the main <laughs> of this live. Keep your eye out for Ty. Keep your eye out for Paragon Gym. Paragon Gym, man. Uh, and this by there. And some pure, man. I'm telling you. And some pure, man. That's where it's going, I'm telling you. Keep your eyes out for... Yeah. Just, you know what? Do you know what? Anyone who's trying to do anything positive, just keep your eye out for them. Yeah, mate. If you if, if anybody wants any questions or anything like that, just drop me a DM, man. I might not see it, so if I don't, I'm sorry. But honestly, if I see it, I will reply. So I just I can't stress it enough. Just ask for help. Ask for advice. It's not it's not a big deal. Like, just ask for the help. Like If you've got anything on your mind, just ask it. You know what I'm saying? 100%. No, Drop your message, man. Well, Ty, thanks for coming on our channel today. I really appreciate it. Same, man. Nice one. Well. Look after yourself. I'll, I'll add you up on there. Uh, yeah, man. I'll you up on the against the card, man. <laughs> Respect. I'm getting on them. I'm getting on them, man. <laughs> Respect. No, no, yeah, it's one. Thanks for coming. Catch you in a bit. Right,